Hello, you wonderful people. Um, how are we all doing? So today we have a reaction video for you, believe it or not. Let's have a look at what today's okay. <laughs> really great opening it. Let's have a look at today's request. So it's come through from Roger. Padanel 2373. Now that we found one of the most precious gems in the world of singing and yet very underrated, I hope you'll be able to check more from her. So this is about um, Morissette. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. did her rock, rock medley. So we're going for her cover of Mariah Carey's Oh Holy Night. We've already done, I think we've done the Bruno Mars Evolution medley. I'm pretty sure we've done that. Yeah, um, we did that. Yep. The Asia Song Festival one I clicked on, but for some reason the sound wasn't working. Um, and that's from our subscriber from che che Kebu, Chebu, Morissette's province oh, in the Philippines. Hmm. Have you been to, the, been to the Philippines before? I haven't been to the Philippines before. Uh -huh. no, I thought you might have done when you were yeah. back in the day on your cruise, your cruise but, ships. Mm. Yeah, no, it's one place that okay. didn't make it there. Right, it's not too late. Maybe one day. Um, so, I don't actually think I know this song. Do you know it? Am I right, Kerry? Uh, if it, oh, yeah, it's a holy night. night. Yeah, I just said. Uh, Let's go listen to it. Anyway. What about you? You seem a bit indecisive. No, so, you, well, yeah, there's a whole holy night song that comes to mind, and I'm pretty sure it's probably that one. But it might turn out it's not that one. So if it is, I do know it. If it's not, <laughs> then I don't. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Let's stop talking rubbish and let's just crack on. Merry Christmas, Rosalie. Me a little bit of reminds me a little bit of like Beyonce, she's got that Beyonce voice about her, yeah. She just did it there, a few yeah. Times. Okay. How do you explain that? Oh, I can't, <laughs> what I'm trying to do, I'm trying. <laughs> I can't explain it. I don't know, I haven't got the vo musical vocabulary, okay, for this, but maybe you know, no, I can't help you out. But I, I do <laughs> totally get and agree with what you're saying, absolutely, especially that last bit we just heard as well, yeah, yeah. I do like that. It's one of the reasons I like Beyonce because of that thing she does with her voice so um how are you finding this yes i don't recognize it. it's not the oh, yeah. i thought it 
might be, unless it might come on a little bit later, but I, I don't think it will. Um, like the usual, you know, it, it, seems like, it sounds like a classic Mariah Carey, even Beyonce, that sort of diva kind of song. Been sung really, really well, especially that's like in a shopping mall. Um, <laughs> which I know shouldn't make too much of you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not like in a proper studio. Yeah. It's not like it's, it's not, it's, the shopping mall's not been designed to host concerts or like this. Yeah. Um, and even with the changing cameras, which I know seems really minor, it still sounds really good and fine, even with all those sort of changes from that there. Um, yeah, it, you know, it's a real nice sort of man of type one. Um, sung extremely, extremely well. It can't, can't fault that. Yeah, so like you, I don't recognise this song. I think I do know a song called Holy Night. Also, it has some lyrics like that in it, but it's not. I don't think it's this song. Um, it's not this one, yeah. And I suppose my criticism would be not her performance, but just the poor quality sound of the recording, I guess it is. Because like you said, I mean, it's, yeah, it's in a shopping mall. And I don't think we can maybe appreciate how good this is because of the mm. I don't know, like the kind of amateurish filming, the fact it's it, yeah, it's it's just it's not in a place that's designed to have someone singing in it, if you see what I mean. So it's not it's nothing against her the way she's nothing against her herself. She's singing it absolutely wonderfully well. Just maybe can't quite appreciate it. Um how how good it is. Just just don't know if that makes sense. Um so yeah, really, really enjoying it. Love her voice, um, and yeah, let's see how it ends. Gabriel Enrique in a back pocket or, or, or something. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Brazilian singer Gabriel Enrique. We've done a lot of his music, a lot of reactions uh, to him on here. And that, oh, what's the vocabulary called? What should you just do? Uh, a whistle. Is that what you want? The whistle, yeah. That, that whistle was very Gabriel uh, Enrique like. Esque. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay, so how did you find that overall? Yeah, listen, I really like myself. I think everyone's have heard of hers, really enjoyed it in different ways and, you know, just done a real sort of mixture um, of stuff. Really. I can't remember the first thing we listened to was sort of Mariah Carey-esque of hers. I can't remember what was the first one we did of hers, thinking that was just probably what she would be like. And obviously we discovered, you know, lots of different talents which could do different sort of styles and stuff there. Um, so where I was sort of going with that point, really. It was a point that I, I really, really like her. Um, it's probably what you were saying, maybe, in what we said about with Mark, probably not the best surroundings, not the best sounding type one, but you could still hear um, how good of a singer is she is, uh, how good a performer she is. Um, it, it definitely 
seemed better and obviously we had more impressive stuff in that second part after the pause we did. Um, I'm still a massive, massive, massive fan of her. Um, I think what's really, what I think starting to realise with her, with all the mixture of stuff, can't we say the stuff where you said about the Beyonce sounding, I think she has that good mix of being like Mariah Carey and Beyonce merged together, uh, which is, uh, I think, a fantastic, powerful combo, let's be honest. Um, so, yeah, she continues to impress me. Really, really like her. Um, just probably wasn't overall the whole vibe of the best mm. perform- um, not performance. But, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but uh, it was impressive that she was just sort of there shopping around. You can see how good she was, but yeah, just think don't think we could experience it or uh, appreciate it as much as the other stuff, if that makes sense. Yeah, so it's not, I'm kind of along the similar lines there. Um, so you're probably not my favourite reaction of Morrison that we've done, but I think that's down probably to two reasons. Probably, A, first, the actual quality of the sound of the video wasn't the best. And also maybe because it's a song that I'm not familiar with as well. Um but other than that, it was a really, really good performance. Like you said, yeah, the second part after after I paused it the first time, that was she really took it up um, a few levels, and it's really, really impressive. I love I love hearing her sing. I love the different ranges she's got. She pulled out a whistle as well. I'm not, I'm not sure. Have we, have we heard a whistle from her before? We have, yeah. I think we have. So yeah, she's she's very versatile. I think that's one thing we definitely hmm. found out about. About her really really versatile just a really talented singer seems to be able to do a bit well everything um so yeah i'm just looking forward to checking out some of our some of our other um songs as well um so that's it from us i forgot to mention earlier that if you uh donate to our channel um, and make a request we will guarantee and prioritize it for you because we've got so many requests we can't physically get through them all um so that's yeah that's it from us um thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe and like the video um if you so wish i will see you again soon for the next one take care goodbye